Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 40 big money bolos coming your way. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are items that they bought low and they sold high, items that we all want to and need to find. Um, so this is my featured members bolo video. And I'm going to tell you real quick how that works. If you'd like to become a member, that is awesome. My channel is completely free. If you would like to join memberships for perks, this is how it works. All right. And then we will get started. I am going to start with a um, one item from each of the resellers that are members. And then we are going to do a speed round at the end. That's going to be like, bam, 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 bam. Something like that. <laughs> All right. Um, let me get the screen share up. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So memberships. Let me show you where you can join if you'd like to join. And if not, no worries. This, again, is just a way to get some extra eyes on maybe your eBay store or your YouTube channel. So if you go to any of my videos, down below, there is a button that says join. Um, you can also go to the description of the video and I have the actual link that will take you there because sometimes you don't have the join button when you're on your mobile phone. So that is how you get there. And when you click that join button, it's going to take you over to this. And I have four levels of membership. Uh, level one, you're just going to get loyalty badges and custom emojis that you can use. Um, level two is what this video is. And that is where I share your bolos in a video format. Now, I always try to do a little something extra like I have currently where I'm doing um, on Facebook where you guys can, anybody is welcome to share their bolo. And then I do a video. And if you are a member, you get a special shout out on that video also. So that's one thing I'm doing this month. Now, if you join, um, that's level two for $4.99 a month, you get to be featured in this video that I'm doing right now. And this is how it works. If you do level three, which is $9.99 a month, you get this video, you get the custom emojis and the loyalty badge, but you also get one additional shout out on one of my social media platforms. Okay, so let's get started, you guys. Um, are you ready to see some big money bolos? Now, I will tell you that my featured members are bolo finders. Now, um, they they just do a fantastic job. And they bring so many good bolos that I've never heard of that is super educational for everyone watching. So stay tuned and be prepared to learn. Take some notes, guys. All right. So the first item is going to come from Jack's Treasures and they have a YouTube channel. They are getting very close to 150 subscribers. So newer channel, go and sub to them. That would be awesome. And I love this bolo. Look how cute this is. So this is Charlie in the Box Island of Misfits. And how cool is that? Um, it's a talking figure from 2003 and they got this out of a storage unit. So you guys know a storage units. It really depends on how much you pay for it and how many items are in it. And if you want to take the time to figure out what your cost of goods is per item, most will not. Um, so I'm not really sure what cost of goods ended up being, but probably not much sold for $125. You guys super, super cool item. Um, and then in the description, it talks about, it takes two double a batteries. And I think this would have been a fantastic item to add a video to the description, because you know what? I really want to see how this guy works. So if you guys don't know how to add an item, uh, just a video to your items. Oh, let me start over. If you don't know how to add a video to your description, I do have a video on my channel that shows you how to do that. So it's just a great little feature to help you sell your item. All right. The next item comes from the Rebel Reseller. And I'm going to tell you, she has been selling some major bolos lately. 
Um, I'm going to show you one of them right now. She is getting close to 400 subscribers. Give her a sub. Uh, you'll definitely learn about some bolos, especially in the toy area. She uh, does a lot of plush. All right. So she sold this baby Morgan. If you guys do not know about baby Morgans, definitely get in the know because these are a bolo, even if they are pre-owned out of the package and used. Now, this one looks to be still in the original packaging, which is just unbelievable. Um, I, I, I saw this and my eyes were like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Um, so it says packaging has wear and a two inch opening and bottom seam. So she did mark it as pre-owned because it has that little um, slit in the bottom of the packaging. So um, it's really... I think I would call that new old stock. So you guys, she sold this for a best offer of $275. She picked it up at a yard sale for three bucks. Now, I just want to tell you, wait until you see her other sold that is in the speed round. It completely, I, I, I had no words. So uh, get ready for that one. You guys will be shocked. All right, this one comes from the Thrifty Nurse, and she picked this up at a thrift store for $3 and sold it for a best offer of $75. It is these Nike Zoom Freak One, or Freak, yeah, Freak One, what the size 10. <laughs> that is quite a name. Um, so yeah, they're these uh, tennis shoes and they are bright colors. I think I would have picked these up just for the fact that they are so bright. But you look at this picture and you're like, do those shoes even match? <laughs> they are definitely interesting. Uh, so yeah, took a best offer of 75, picked them up at a thrift store for three bucks. And the thrifty nurse over on YouTube, she is a bolo finder. Go check her out and let's help her get to 300 subs. Toledo Antique. Um, they do some consignment. They also do estate sales and they do live sales, selling events on their YouTube channel. So this was actually a consignment item and it is a old antique Bible from 1911, which is just absolutely amazing. And you can tell it's not in mint condition by any means, but it's got these illustrations that are just amazing. And this Bible sold for $149.99 on auction. So it sold in seven days, you guys. Quick sale, big money bolo right there. And this is a consignment item that they got 50% of the sale price. The next item belongs to Danielle from Yard Sales and Dreams. And she also is a bolo finder. Lots of bolo finders, you guys. And she sold this vintage mini world baby pink full circle dress. It's a Southern Belle lace sheer. And I will tell you, if you get one of these, do your photo like this. This is a big selling point. Um, it's a full circle. That is another important keyword. So Danielle definitely nailed it with this item. She took a best offer of $100, paid $6 at a church sale. So a very, very cool item. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller, and she's close to 500 subs, so definitely go sub her up. She picked this up at a garage sale. It was like a garage sale slash estate, I think, if I remember correctly, for $3. And I did see... Um, she chose this as her, this is my bolo item. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. Um, I have a bunch of resellers that came together and they submitted, submitted videos to me. So it's them in their own words of their what sold 60 second or less videos. It goes super fast and is so entertaining and you will learn so much. But um, she did say this was all dirty and dusty and had cobwebs on it. And it was a $3 pickup at a garage sale. And I think she took a best offer on that, but I'm, I can't remember. So I forgot to write that down. 
but definitely a very cool mid-century modern piece by Lennox. And it's um, an art deco bust of a woman's face. Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop does not have a YouTube channel, but has a fantastic eBay store. The link is down in the description. Again, super cool items. She picked up this Tom Rubble Silver Deer Christmas Animal Moose figurine from 1990 at an estate sale for $5. And um, she took a best offer. And I want to say it was in the $200 range. I forgot to go back and write it down. So I apologize for that. But it is definitely a big money bolo. And let me see if I can get you a shot of the bottom. Here you go. Christmas Animals Collection by Tom Rubble. I think it's Rubble. Maybe it's Ruble. But would you guys have known that this is a big money bolo if you saw it? So definitely be on the lookout. The next item comes from Be Carried Away, who is really close to 500 subs. And she sold this dollhouse. She got it at an estate sale for $15 and took a best offer of $150. And this little house is just too cute. And it looks like it came with some dolls and some furniture. 50, 50 plus pieces. That was a tongue twister. Look how cute it is. It has little curtains. It's not very big, but it is darling. Pretty cool. Fun Bolo. I love little dollhouses to sell. Um, the big ones, I've sold a big one in the past and it was so expensive to ship, but that one definitely looked manageable. All right. Auctions for you, who you guys hear me talk about all the time because I'm like, I got this from auctions for you and I sold it for, um, I picked up uh, some mystery boxes from her. I got um, a vintage toy box. I have another vintage toy box that I keep telling you guys I'm going to unbox and I keep putting it off because I have so much stuff to list, but that will be in a future video. Uh, maybe this winter I'll try to work on that one. Uh, she picked these shoes up. They are Air Jordans. They came out of a storage unit, so her cost of goods was around a dollar and she sold these for $44.99. As you can see, these are pre-owned and they still sold. So I know that I shy away from shoes and I probably should not because there is definitely money to be made in shoes. The next item comes from Neat Finds from Naomi. And again, really fantastic eBay store. She is not a YouTuber, so definitely check out her eBay store down below. And she sold this Chadra or hold on, Chado. Ralph Ruki, Ruzi, Ruki. I don't know how to say it, guys. Chato Ralph Ruki. There we go. That's what the tag looks like. And she said she did not know that comps were so high. She just know, knew that she saw it and felt it and it felt like quality. So she picked it up, which it does look like a really fancy, nice piece. Um, this is how she did her measurements, which is a great idea. And 100% um, wool, dry clean only. So she has included this information in the photos for the buyer to see. She got this at the Salvation Army for $9.99. And she took a best offer of $310 for that item. The next item comes from Butterfly Hustles, who is getting close to 1,000 subs. You guys, 1,000 subs is a huge milestone for a YouTuber Please go show her some love with a sub. Let's help her get to 1,000 subscribers. And she sold this vintage Tony Llama Western suede jacket from the 80s. And she sold it for a best offer of $100. She got it for $12.50 at the Goodwill. So it's very, very detailed. It's a great brand. Super cool item. Definitely would have picked it up. and. Yeah, very cool item. The next item comes from Philly Flipper, who also does um, live shows where he interviews other resellers. So um, if you're interested in being interviewed, maybe check him out and send him an email. 
And he also does a lot of yard sale videos, but his yard sale videos are super educational. Now, this is an animated three foot tall hatching T-Rex dinosaur from 2019. He actually got two of these out of a storage unit. He has one left. And he told me he didn't think it was really a bolo because he didn't think anybody else would find it. And I'm like, you found it. So um, I kind of like things that are unexpected like this. Um, because you just don't know what's going to pop up at a garage sale or a thrift store or an estate sale. So definitely be on the lookout for this guy. Uh, he got this out of a storage unit. So his cost of goods was around 50 cents. And he took a best offer of $85 plus shipping. The next item is from Donatella Bottolino, who you guys also hear me say, I bought this from Donna and sold it for this. Um, I buy a lot of uh, boxes from her reseller boxes called Dibble Boxes. So they're a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And it's basically a reseller box. The next, uh, oh, I'm sorry. She got this Tiffany and Company spoon and it is a berry or a casserole spoon and Olympian. And it has beautiful markings on it. Well, this, this is different. It's a face. It's a face on the back of the spoon, which is really interesting. But this is really pretty. Um, it says 1916 on it. It's just a really cool spoon. And it is sterling. I'm not sure why she didn't put sterling in the title. Donna, put sterling in the title, my friend. But obviously, she had no problem selling this because... Um, it sold super fast. I know um, she did a video where she found it and then she listed it and it sold quick. And it sold for $375 and she had about one penny in this. It was a storage unit find. The next item is from Franklin Hill Ventures and he's getting close to 100 subs. He is a newer channel. Please go sub him up. And he got these books at a garage sale. They are the Dune Trilogy uh, hardback book club edition with the dust covers. And you guys, these are a huge bolo. They sold for $255. And this was auction style, 22 bids, free shipping. He got these at a garage sale for $2 each. So his cost of goods was $8 on these. So uh, definitely keep your eye out for these. They are by Frank Herbert. So never heard of it, but I will definitely try to remember that author and those book titles. It's all goods. And she sold this vintage 90s Scream Ghost Face Mask Easter Unlimited. Um, this is what the inside, I shouldn't say inside, the underside of the chin looks like. It's got the brand and... I'm not sure what that means. S A. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's somebody's last name. Some writing on the inside. So it's just showing the defect there. This sold for $124.99 with one bid. The buyer paid shipping. This came from where did I put the information? Uh $1 at a garage sale. So these scream masks, you guys, they are almost always a home run. So if you see a scream mask, definitely pick it up. A little bluebird. And this is her eBay store. She also has a small YouTube channel that she's growing slowly. She puts a video out here and there. Um, but right now, focusing on getting items listed. So preference would be for you to check out her eBay store. And she sold this Marvel's legends build a figure apocalypse um marvel toy and she said he was missing um the hose that goes on his backpack and they picked up a lot of i think five figures so this was one of them and this one the breakdown was about 75 cents each and she took a best offer of 99 dollars for this guy you guys that's the thing with action figures. You definitely want to pull out that Google lens and you want to look them up because there are a lot that are worth big money, but you have to take the time to research them. The next item comes from Money Making Mama. And this item is really, really cool. 
Uh, let's get her to 200 subscribers. So give her a sub. She shops at this place called Dirt Cheap. So she will tell you about that on her channel. So this item actually came from a garage sale or a church garage sale. And she paid $5 for it, took a best offer of $120. And these are uh, drafting tools, which are, wow, definitely a bolo and a very cool item. I definitely would have looked that up or grabbed it based on um, $5 is a pretty good asking price for that. So I would have been intrigued enough to grab it. What about you? Would you have picked up the drafting tools? So uh, yeah, definitely check out Money Making Mama. And the next item I'm going to show you of hers in the speed round is an item from Dirt Cheap, which is super cool. All right, Melissa Vandridge, uh, taking a break from YouTube right now, but here is the eBay item that she sold, All Game Outfitter Real Tree Max. It's like hunting gear. It's a jacket and pants set. This is what the tag looks like. And she picked this up at the bins, the Goodwill bins, where you buy things by weight. She got it for about $4 and took a best offer of $70, and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item comes from Mindful Recycle, and she hit a major score at an estate sale right here, spending $3,000 on estate sale items. Go check out that video. Unbelievable find. Just like one of those um, items, sales that you will never forget. Um, this one is pretty fantastic. She said she was at the end of an estate sale and she almost left without comping these out and something made her comp them out. And boy, oh boy, I bet she was glad she did. She picks up a lot of these and this is a, um, it's a volume set and it says early church fathers. Uh, it looks like 38 volumes. And yeah, check it out. Would you have walked past it or would you have bought it? Uh, let's see. What did she pay for it? Estate sale paid $30, you guys, and she sold it for $2,200. Bolo. Be on the lookout. All right. Sisters Rescued Treasures. Um, they don't have a store yet, so I've got it pulled up in this format, but you can see here is their username. They um, are a newer store, but working very, very hard, and they've already got over 400 items listed, so definitely go and check them out. And the item I picked for them came off of Mercari, so they also sell on Mercari, and here is their Mercari store but I just thought this little mushroom was too cool not to share. Um, it's a nice bread and butter item and the buyer did pay the shipping. They sold this for $34 plus shipping. Super, super cool little um, art glass mushroom. And they got this at the Goodwill for $4.96. The next item comes from Anytime Picker, and he has these little videos that are short, around three to four minute clips where he shows two bolo items at a time, which is great if you're like kind of in a hurry or only have a little bit of time to watch YouTube. It gives you two quick bolo items. He has 292 subs at the time of this video. Let's get him to 350, you guys. So definitely go check out his channel. And he sold this vintage Mack truck hood ornament. It's a bulldog. Definitely an interesting item. And he said he got it from the abandoned house. So I don't know if he has a video on that, but that is what he said. So I don't know if it was free or if he paid money for it. Um, he just signed up to be a member yesterday and I'm doing the video today. So I didn't have a chance to reach out to him to get his bolo items. So I kind of snooped his YouTube channel to find these. So that is how I got the information. And he did sell this for $69 and the buyer paid shipping. 
All right, you guys, it is time for the speed round. So we are going to go through each of these resellers items. I'm going to do one each um, and we are going to move quickly here. So the first item comes from Anytime Picker, and this is a veterinary medicine illustrated history hardcover book with the dust cover. Super cool. He picked this up at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for $129. So definitely don't sleep on books. They can be big money. It's just a matter of taking the time to look up the titles or scan the barcodes. The next item comes from Terry from um, Mindful Recycle. This is a Ralph Lauren towel. And she picked several of these up at an estate sale. This is the first one to sell. And it's the bear on the bike. Super cool bolo. Paid a dollar for it and sold it for $75. This item comes from Vandy's Closet, Melissa. And it is a Brunello Cusinelli oversized cardigan. And she said this sold the same day. She got it at the bins where you buy things by weight. So she had a couple bucks in it and it sold for $200, you guys. Now, um, I don't know this brand. I am not a clothing reseller. I used to be, but I never did high-end stuff. But it does say made in Italy. So if I would have seen made in Italy, that def definitely would have cued me in to look up that brand. So super cool and super fast sale. The next item comes from Money Making Mama. And remember, I was telling you she purchases items from a place called Dirt Cheap. Um, these are Scentsy Buddies, you guys. And she picked up a whole bunch of these brand new, 30 of them for $45. You guys, she has already sold seven of these for $59.99 with free shipping. So definitely Scentsy Buddy is a bolo item. Uh, you can get them pre-owned at garage sales quite often. Um, check the plush. They do have a tush tag that says Scentsy Buddy. And uh, yeah, definitely a be on the lookout item. They range from bread and butter to big money. The next item is from uh, A Little Bluebird. This is a Presto Sears cooker canning pressure cooker thing. It is vintage. She got it in an estate sale and she said it was the end of the estate sale and they just kept throwing things in her cart or whatever she had, her pile. And uh, so she got everything for a really good deal. Her cost of goods was about 44 cents for this. And she took a best offer of 75. The next item is super cool. It's a new old stock item. It retailed for $5.99. And it's a Halloween thrilling ghost sound activated light up shaking um, little character thing. And this is not a big money bolo, but this is an easy, quick flip. Um, came from the, a garage sale for $1 and she ended up taking a best offer of $24.99. Now, if she would have waited until closer to Halloween, would it have sold for more? I think she probably could have got her $40 if she would have been patient and held out. But I also understand I paid a dollar for it. Somebody's offering me 25. I'm just going to sell it because I do that all the time. The next item comes from Franklin Hills Ventures, and it is a Holloway Wood Spirit Carving Wise Old Man Pine Tree, and it says Fat Lighter. I don't know what that means. But um, I'm guessing this is like a one of a kind folk art type deal. Uh, pretty cool. Got it at a thrift store for $11 and sold it for $80. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item comes from Donatella Bottolino. These are Meslin shoes. And she got them out of a storage unit. Cost of goods was like one cent. So it must have been a pretty good storage unit. And she sold these for $50. And you guys can see they've got some wear on them. No laces. And she did offer free shipping on those. The next item is this Combat the Duke bat. It is a softball slow pitch bat. 
And this was picked up by Philly Flipper for $3 at a yard sale. And again, one thing that's nice about bats is most of them have the information on the bat so that you can look them up. The next item that sold is from Butterfly Hustles. This is a glass baby and it holds, it's a candle holder, you guys. It's holds those small candles. And you can see right here, this is what it says on the bottom. This is what you're looking for. Glass Baby is definitely a bolo. This was a super quick sale for her. She got it at the Goodwill for 99 cents and flipped it for $149.50. This next item comes from Be Carried Away. That's what I thought. I've got, I'm out of order here. And she got this at the Salvation Army for $4.99 and sold it for $86.09. Okay, you guys, vintage lingerie can definitely be a bolo. Here's the tag. So definitely be on the lookout. A lot of people pick these up at thrift stores. Um, it's kind of one of those things that gets overlooked. The next item is from Carissa over at Chosen Goods Reseller. And this is a Starbucks mug that she picked up at Starbucks for $4.16 and she flipped it for $30.86 plus shipping. And that is what it looks like. So a lot of these, um, I think are limited edition. I'm not really sure, but they can have some uh, good margins. The next item came from Yard Sales and Dreams, paid $4 at an estate sale, and sold it for $95. And I do think this is a fantastic way to show your items. I'm pretty sure she's got it out on a clothesline. Um, really just gives you a good look at um, the item hanging so that people know what it looks like. Now, if you're like me and don't have a clothesline, that's a little tricky. Um, I could not do this, but I love this way of displaying it. Um, and if she wanted to get real fancy, she could take this photo and do um, photo room and make that have a white background if she wanted. But I think with this item, the uh, natural trees in the background looks pretty cool. So $95 on that one. The next item was sold by Toledo Antique. It is a Vintage Chantilly Lace print by Philip Boileau or something. Boileau. I don't know how to say that. But anyway, they got this on consignment. So they got 50% of this sale. And it sold in three months approximately for $249.99. And you can see here that is definitely helpful but the original price it looks like was $67.50 so very very cool the next item was sold by the thrifty nurse and um she picked this up at the goodwill for $3.19 and it sold for $112.50 and i know that when she picked this up there were a bunch of other resellers at the same goodwill and they missed it and she did not know that this was a Griswold until she got home, opened it up, and saw the pamphlet on the inside. So really, really cool. This is what, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Pinterest reality. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yep, that's that's how I cook the second photo. Um, but yeah, here's the little pamphlet that was on the inside. and. Uh, Definitely a fun bolo. Oh, you guys, I didn't tell you what it was called. It's a Griswold cast iron lamb cake mold from the 1940s. So that's great for Easter. Okay, this is the one that I was telling you guys about from Rebel Reseller. This one is absolutely amazing. It's a Xanax mug, you guys. It's just like um, a pharmaceutical drug rep advertising mug. So she probably... Uh, the pharmaceutical rep probably gave this to the doctor when she was trying to get them to, uh, I don't even know how that exactly works. I don't know if they try to sell them on the product or, or what, but the pharmaceutical rep goes into the doctor's office 
probably drops off this mug. The doctor's like, I don't want this mug. And he donates the mug. <laughs> um, actually, this one came from Hybid. Uh, she bought a big lot of items and these, she had a couple of these and they both were big money bolos. So uh, just unbelievable to me. It sold this for $115 and the buyer paid shipping. So I am going to say that this is my favorite bolo of the whole video because it is so unexpected to me. I never would have picked this up and I love learning about new items and this one's just unexpected. So it's my favorite. And I think most of you are going to agree with me that this is your favorite just because it's so random. All right. The next item came from um, Jack's Treasures. And this is a Lutron cord. Uh, it came from a yard sale from the free box, you guys. Sold it for $64. And um, free shipping on that one. So, yeah, I mean, I guess just look up those numbers and see what they're selling for. Uh, I know I see boxes of cords and stuff all the time at garage sales, and maybe I need to look them over a little better. All right, this next item came from uh, Na... <sighs> Hold on. I'm drawing a blank. She just changed her name. Neat Finds from Naomi. Yes, I got it. And this is a camera lens. She got this for free and took a best offer of $129. So these camera lens can definitely be a bolo. Definitely do your research if you see them. And um, it's one thing I typically pass up because I don't know how to really research them. But there is definitely money to be made in camera lenses. This one comes from horse and hair curiosity shop. It is an eBay store that I showed you earlier. It'll be linked down below. Um, she does not have a YouTube channel. This is Christmas by Patience Brewster, Department 56. Patient Brewster items are definitely a bolo. She got this at an estate sale for 15. And again, I apologize. I forgot to take write down what best offer she took for this item. But um, yeah. Very cool item. Looks like it has um, the box, but the box is damaged. No big deal. But very, very, very cool items. All right, you guys, that concludes this video. That was 40 big money bolo items. Again, if you'd like to join memberships, I talked about that at the beginning. You can check that out. At the bottom, down by the subscribe, it has a join button. And if you'd like to check it out, awesome. If not, just continue to watch videos. My content is completely free. Memberships are for those of you that are interested in perks. Um, basically, I help advertise your eBay store and YouTube channel. And um, I do it by sharing Bolo items. Uh, it's a great way to help others learn and to get eyes on your YouTube channel or your eBay store. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and let me know what your favorite bolo was. Thanks for watching.